Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. We are in nature. I'm not sure we are always with nature. My brain is too small to grasp the concept of nature. I just take some crumbs that fall from the table of understanding and I try to make a make some sense out of it for what we are doing here. A windy day, cloudy, hopefully some more rain tomorrow. We received little in comparison to other parts of Spain and we are thankful for that little. I'm standing here at the lowest part of the land. It is more than 20 meters lower than the highest part up there and uh, some water. Therefore, I have started making swales at the lowest parts of the land. I wanted to understand where is the water coming from. The only thing that was obvious to me is the water comes here. So I started making swales here. I can work with practical physical things I can observe. We had some permaculture teachers, bless them, they tried hard to convince me of starting at the top, but it didn't work. I have done a lot of swales at the lower part of the land and last few days I first time I feel ready to start at the top. Now I understand what is happening, what is the water flow, where does it come from, how strong, how much, when. I feel that I have arrived in understanding something of the water flow on this land and that is good. It's a very good place to be. The volunteers clear the space from the sister's brush Hara, and the first part, uh, we first ripped out the brush and then I threw some seeds in the area and we raked it. And then the second part, before we removed this Hara brush, I have thrown, thrown a lot of the seeds out. So let's see which one work better. Another experiment I can observe. We have four swales above the lowest point and they're all full of water and it's quite moist below them. We had to remove some papaya trees from these berms because uh, they were drowning in the water, the moisture. Another aspect I have to learn now 
just normal rainfall and where we supplement the rainfall with the water from the creek two very different kinds of swales and I will have to be mindful of what I plant on each of them because the one that gets water from the creek is much much wetter than the others this is the highest swale above on the western side above the low point of the farm yesterday the first time the water spilled over this way and I had fun directing it this way very very good feeling to see and experience that the water from um, the middle of the farm can reach the far border of the farm great we have to put in a lot more carbon material organic material in here to prevent evaporation looks like some hot weather on its way somehow we also need some cold weather it has not been cold yet only two days of mild frost that's not good enough the stone fruit trees they need some cold weather so let's hope we get it all pond is full amazing sight I love it and this little footpath to the rickety bridge over the creek is our gateway to the far east far east of the land still some flow in the creek beautiful of barren land in front of me used to be a meter meter and a half deep erosion gully and now it is just a uh, an in-between gully the gully has been filled with organic material and then I cut into the bank and placed it on top of the organic material the water now comes down here and because of this I am experimenting with sandbags I want temporary weirs here the idea is to flatten this bank here and just have some hollowness a depression instead of a gully because I also want to reduce heavily the amount of water that comes this way that's why I can think in that way because with less water coming this way I can work with a different system the water comes from a culvert over there I am now playing with ideas to excavate this area as a holding pond 
and then distribute the water much higher up. As I said earlier, first time I'm ready for higher up water and this looks like a good place to start. I have made a huge discovery about this water coming this way. This is a creek, but it is it is pushed through a uh, culvert and because it comes through a culvert because it comes through a culvert it is the water needs to flow much faster than the open space much faster through the culvert and that creates a lot of problems on this side so the water rise on the other side it is funneled into this pipe and then it comes at a tremendous speed this way and the effect of that very rapidly flowing water can be seen up to there even it was 10 minutes of rain not much about seven eight millimeters and then it just rushes down here with the power to remove those sandbags I will have to think what to do about this very fast moving water the system that I have there is not designed with for fast moving water there are some examples on the internet of staggered concrete blocks to pacify the water I have this wall there because I need to elevate the intake of the water so that the pipe can feed the swale there was no other place to make this swale so sandbags look how far they go down it's even one over there Either I will have to put three rows of sandbags but this was my experiment it can still work on the erosion gully but this case where the water is accelerated because of a culvert I will have to rethink many things. This is where I have removed the papaya trees because it's too wet for them. Because there is very often, should there be rain, some standing water here. two years I slowly get a grip on what is happening here I have also realized that this flat area the highest point of the land allows water to come this way currently it goes into the swale system and uh, I can make swales here all the way down to the tree and uh, I can have my grapevines here to 
supply me with raisins. That will be great. Till next time. Goodbye.